弟を思う気持ちはよくわかる。Yo, what is up? How's it going? I'm Frank, and welcome to Attack on Titan. Oh, the time has come apparently for the for a very very good episodes to come uh, okay according to fucking everybody and according to the imdb okay i i gotta i gotta come clean i've checked the scores okay for the next couple of episodes of the of the imdb score and uh, yeah they're pretty high so <laughs> by high i of course mean 9.9 .9. it's fucking 9.9 .9, man the next like three episodes holy shit that is insane that's that's what i look like when i found out not even joking <laughs> yeah this is a good day so uh, a couple of things i wanted to say first was uh one i've been shitting on galliard a little bit i i, I yeah it happens you know if he if he messes up as much as he does as you can blame me but honestly his titan and i like his style with the hair and the mask i think it's my favorite one from all the designs and the way he leaps across the buildings the way he leaped in the previous episode it was really fucking cool and if i'm gonna give him anything i'm gonna give him that he looks fucking amazing as a as a titan yeah second thing junior high is happening junior high is happening especially as uh, i did little little calculations so there's about what 12 episodes left of attack on titan and the final final episode has not been yet announced they say it may be fall 2023 it may not but is it gonna be like the start of the fall the end of the fall the way the episodes are coming out right now to you know to a week it is a bit too fast and i would hate to be in a situation where you know i'm gonna end this oh, like a month two months before the final episode airs and then you know it's gonna be like disjointed disconnected it's not ideal so i think what i will do i I will supplement these last 12 episodes with the junior high ones so that the finale can hopefully be live we'll we'll see about that as again it has not been announced nobody knows but i'm hoping it's gonna work out so uh yeah junior high is happening cannot wait and lastly before the episode you know what's coming you know what's coming the manga corner it is not coming i didn't read anything <laughs> illiterate i know but i'm gonna catch up hopefully next time so with that being said and out of the way get ready to rumble in this week's episode attack on titan season 4 episode 19. whoa 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 fucking hell it starts with the intro immediately 78 two brothers the thing is that can be Eren and zeke or it can be falco and uh, his brother whose name i really just forgot uh, he's going for it still oh no kapow they still have the gun uh. Oh, it's just chaos. Fixes. Dude. She's just chilling. She's at home in the chaos, huh? Zeke. A little bit, yeah. He's gonna move, isn't he? Towards him. Eesh. You know, Porco has been getting so much shit. I cannot do. I. It would be nice to see him. Redeem himself. Oh. That's nice. Magath has been the fucking MVP as well, by the way. Just gotta say it. What a man. What? He said, wait? Aaron said, wait? Oh. Oh. oh, he's about to scream. I thought he was just sucking in. I didn't realize. Oh, shit. Well, he knows. Oh, 
あんたにこのまま黙って死ねと言うつもりはないパルコが叫びの範囲から出るまで待ってほしいんだ That's gonna be too その後で好きなだけ殺し合ってくれマレジもエルディア人も好きなだけ殺せばいいでも弟は巻き込まないでくれ Oh no パルコ早く乗って Don't do it コルト弟を思う気持ちはよくわかる He's gonna do it チークさんだから残念だ。No. <笑>大丈夫だ、マルコ。兄ちゃんがついてるからな。What the fuck? No! なんだ敵が巨人化したのかおい一体巨人が放って Are you serious, dude? やれファルコ I can't, man. I fucking can't. What the fuck just happened? Falco, I'm going to get out of here. Falco! I'm the same as you! 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 Who's that? I got some finally in action. He's munching on him. Oh, I'm not sure what I'm doing. He's doing it. Gun を騙してまでドベのお前を戦士にした。俺を守るために。待て。ダメだ。バルガー。これではっきりしたよな。最後まで俺の方が上だって。うっかりハードさ。Gabby, she has a gun again. What, dude? I wanna, I wanna talk about what just happened, but. I'm not gonna, because I want to continue. The scream. Aliens who ingest Zeke's Jaeger's spinal fluid can be turned into pure titans by his screams. No shit. They will then obey his orders, regardless of their own will, no matter who they are or who they were. <sighs> One thing, only thing I'm gonna say. Damn, Reiner does not get to die yet. Huh? He wants to, he wants to, but he does not get to. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. <laughs> Should've done it back then, maybe. Wow. 
落としちまった病院暮らしで体がなまっちまったかな What? Did he realize something? Zeke? Shit. Dude, that is a wallpaper. <laughs> that is a wall that is a wallpaper. Holy Insane. Everything is a wallpaper. So what if Aaron's body touches it? Oh It's happening. What the fuck? What the fuck? The paths? Koko. Subete no Michinga Majiwaru Zahio Dato. It's chained. Osoraku Shiso Kesho Sta Okewa. Koko ni Kitandaro. Shiso no Chikarao Koshi Suru Saini. Nisa. マジくたびれたぞエレン何年もたったのかえお前の首はガビに吹っ飛ばされたが完全にこと切れる前に俺と接触を果たした There's eight seconds after you get decapitated usually the girl 心配ないそれは始祖ユミルだ始祖ユミルだとなぜわかる始祖ユミルさん以外にこんなところをブラブラ歩いている人が他にいるか。シソはここで巨人を作っているのだろう。Jesus Christ, cut your nails, man. 俺たちが巨人の力を欲するたびに果てしない時間を費やして。Oh. ずっとここに一人で。エレン、シソをユミルに命じるんだ。やはりここで自由に動けるのはお前だけだ。Uh. お前だけがシソをユミルに命じることができる。頼む、世界を救ってくれ。エレン。Is it time for Aaron's plan to reveal? Yeah. 俺はここに来るために、あんたに話を合わせていただけだ。Huh. He's been waiting so long to hear this. He's doing the rumbling. お前がここでやらなければ、この先も殺し合いは終わらない。俺たちが。繰り返してきたことがずっと続くなぜだエレン答えてくれ俺がこの世に生まれたからだおっしゃシソユミル俺に力を貸してくれノーやっぱりかよエレン He betrayed him お前だけは分かってくれると信じたかったこれもあの父親に洗脳されたせいなのかシソは何でも作れるこんな土くれの鎖でも王家の血を引く俺が求めればな。Ah. 俺は歴代の壁の王と違い、初代王の思想に染まらぬままここに到達した。苦戦のちぎりを無力化していくことに成功した。絶大な力を持つ思想ユミルだが。Do they have a, a gym in this place? Jim no issue, Motano Doreda. Oke no chio hikumono, Jibun no shizin dato moikomi, Kuju shizukeru. シソの力は俺が手にした。Okay, that is an interesting twist. あ、鍵に過ぎなかったんだよ。エレン。エレン was the key all along。お前の本音を聞くまで待っていてよかった。俺は決してお前を見捨てはしない。俺がシソの力でお前を直してやる。やめろ、無駄だ。世界を救うときはお前と一緒だ。Oh, oh, 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 oh. What, what the fuck? Oh my god. Holy shit, man. Alright, that has been Attack on Titan. This is gonna be some painful fucking couple days. Shit. So, the goat is not gonna be Zeke. It is not gonna be Aaron. You know what? Oh, wait, for the, yeah, for the first time ever. For the first time ever, the goat shall be. Yard. Yep, yep. He has absolutely redeemed himself. This episode that was fantastic. Although I am kind of sad for Reiner that he 
doesn't get to dude he had so many moments where he just was ready to go and ready to make his big sacrifice and he can't even do that but galliard did it orko did it very nice so first of all fuck zeke genuinely fuck zeke dude he he knew about falco and he still decided to scream that is nah unredeemable fuck him Annie wouldn't do that she would not do do that i think i don't know it's hard to say we only had her for one season it is time for her to return by the way wouldn't that be something orko seeing the memory of his brother was also sweet to see you know some final closure to his arc i guess because he's done i said it during the episode like i'm hoping he's gonna redeem himself in any way shape or form soon because i i like his character and he did he did and now he's gone <laughs> holy shit zeke has screamed of course and what followed was insanity mainly yeah falco got transformed right in front of gabby as well that was hard to watch seeing as they're so close but also pixies man pixies is gone fuck unless unless reiner reiner can still do himself justice find pixies and let pixies munch on him that would be the best i think <laughs> no also is the last shot of pixies drinking some some beverage again <laughs> classic mikasa and armin are there but i wonder so mikasa mikasa is one of the strongest odm year people second to levi i i think no so she's gonna tear some tear some ass but then armin is there and he still has he got the colossal but he didn't do nothing yet so i'm wondering so if this is gonna go the way of uh the rumbling it is hard to say because zeke does not want to rumbling no he just wants to euthanasia but is he gonna activate the rumbling if he activates the rumbling is the rumbling just gonna go towards the outside towards marley and shit because i'm trying to see in in one point would armin finally do something he would do something if mikasa was in danger or if eren was in danger like a season prior not this season <laughs> probably and also at what point so how would any realistically get out galliard is dead falco now has the jaw but she can uncocoon herself on her own no so if she can what would prompt her to uncocoon herself maybe if, if she saw reiner maybe if reiner finds her and he talks to her because her sole motivation was to finish the mission go back home to her family no so if reiner talks to her in that way maybe she will and this is a big one what if Irvin would have gotten chosen instead of Armin? Well, first of all, I think Eren would be way more bitter and even angrier. So that wouldn't maybe change much. But then Armin would be dead. They wouldn't maybe have success attacking Marley, the Berio, because Armin took out the ships. So maybe then would have failed. But also, so at this point, they would have uh, Irvin, right? Let's say Irvin does come out with the plan to take the ships and he fills in for Armin. If from that point on, Irvin was alive, I think he would keep a closer eye on Eren from that point forward. He would also not trust Yelena at all. And he wouldn't probably see through the one scheme he would be too careful about that nobody really su saw through the wine because it's not their like nature levi doesn't care about that Irvin was the one who cared about stuff like that about the bigger picture bigger plan he would just put a stop to it but then it's then it's hard to say what would happen next if yelena one would have gotten caught with the wine then zeke wouldn't have the leverage that he ha had yeah there's a chance that the original plan of just making the country pro because everybody else except for yelena wanted to do it no on on young copon i'm sorry if i just say his name wrong probably did he with the marleyan cuisine guy sasha's boyfriend as well they wanted to help marley at the end in the end they wanted to develop it i mean marley what am i saying the parties they wanted to develop it and make it more advanced and an actual you know city and then over time maybe people would stop the racism towards them with the all the alien stuff yeah shit maybe <laughs> maybe Irvin was the better choice who knows the series this, the show is still you know going so i'm not gonna say what do you guys think leave a leave a comment below i'm actually interested in what do you think would happen how would things go up to this point if Irvin was alive still and not Armin. Okay, so going on from there, yeah, Reiner was ready to go, but then Porco stepped in because he had nothing to live for. He was 
Man, I, I feel bad for him. He was getting smashed on so much. He couldn't hold his own in a fight. But to be fair, he was fighting Eren most of the time. So that's not really really fair, right? <laughs> Falco's coming back as a Orcos Titan, as a Galliard, as a Joe Titan. That's great. Eren Heads got shot off by Gabby with this fucking thing. What the fuck, dude? That is a size of a... That's like twice her size. You know when you go next to a school, I see every time at least one really fucking under average small kid. But with a backpack the size of a fucking Mount Chiliard, right? Like it's, it's so much bigger than him. How does he not fall over? Dude, how does she not fall over <laughs> with that fucking gun? What the fuck? Also, like, holding it like that is one thing, but then she shoots it. And those things kick. Those things fucking kick. Dude, she should be on the floor like the fucking mask when he gets squished and he's like a pancake. No? Holy. That is a great shot, though. <laughs> so while that happens, then Aaron misses the ball that Zeke chucked at him and he threw him i kind of interpreted that that as a you know he has a different plan and turns out to be true but yeah that's gonna be in a bit so then the next fucking amazing sequence of like a stop time happened with the carnage that was amazing then then the sequence dude you know i love shit like what they did going into the past the entire history and whatnot that was really cool just some really nice artsy shit but it's not artsy for the sake of being artsy it may it may make some sense because it's the paths right like in everything or actually i don't even know what paths are to be to be honest it's just some place the the titans the the founding people went to I guess Emir is there, the founding, not the founding, the first titan, the first founding titan, yeah. Can she talk? She has no eyes. But yeah, Zeke chains himself up and, you know, Eren's like, haha, fuck you, I had a different plan all along. But then of course Zeke is like, haha, fuck you, I knew you had a different plan, I had a suspicion, you confirmed it, get fucked. So now he is chained up, Eren is chained up, and uh, they touched. They touched in the paths. Is that a different kind of touching than when they touched in the real world? When Zeke has touched Eren's almost non-living head? Maybe that was a pre-touch and this is the actual touch. And now they are accessing the, the powers of the of Ymir. But yeah, they touched and that was it. And the next, next episode is gonna be in a couple of days. What the fuck am I gonna do till then? I don't know. <laughs> One last thing I want to say before I go to Reddit is I was editing the last episode and holy shit, I gotta give credits to the amazing soundtrack. I come to realize in the last couple of years that I think what makes or breaks the scene the most is the soundtrack. It is a weird thing. It may only be a me thing, but you know, if the soundtrack is... I was just watching Guardians 3, no spoilers, but you know how Guardians are, it's very much soundtrack based. Such a big factor why they are so good, in my opinion. Or I've seen John Wick 4 a week before as well, and again, no spoilers, of course, but there was a fight scene, a really, really long fight scene, and part of the fight scene was quiet, no music at all, but then part of, part of the fight scene, they kicked in with some really, really badass music in the background. That's where I realized that thing, because the part that was quiet and it was just a fight with no music it was okay but it felt like you know it was it was okay but then the part with the music was so good and whenever i wanted to replay that movie and rewatch it i was mainly rewatching the scenes with the music so coming back to attack on titan the last episode where galliard was jumping around and Ern was screaming his shit out the soundtrack in the back added so much to it in my opinion just this level of uh epicness and the feeling of yeah this is the last couple of last episodes it's about to end this is the last run we are on the final run and uh that kind of made me sad i'm not gonna lie it kind of made me sad because it's soon to be over so uh yeah a couple more couple more months and then it's done so enough blabbering it is really time. There weren't many things in life that made me gasp for real, but seeing Eren's hand flying, holy shit. Dude, this episode was filled with amazing shots. Filled to the brim. Like Zeke's, I think it was Zeke's eye, with the reflection of Eren's head flying in front of it. Holy shit. Even if you put Reiner in the Final Destination film, the poor chap still won't die. Oh, poor guy. He's literally got the plot armor. <laughs> He's the plot armor titan. Yes. Eren literally got handed the unplugged controller and Zeke told him he was doing stuff. Like every little brother out there. Oh, best analogy on there, on here. Yeah. Dude, I wonder how he feels. He...
Did he really get played all the way through? So Zeke can do what he can do because he's royal. And Eren thought he could do what Zeke can do because he's got the founding. But it's the other way around. Eren is the key. The royal blood is what you need, huh? Damn. I mean, to be fair, that does kind of make sense. Why would Eren be able... Well, why would Eren be the one to control when he's only got the founding? Although, I guess it, it could go either way. But, so, here's another hypothesis. They were thinking about making Historia into a Titan, unconscious Titan, and then touching Eren, right? But that wouldn't work. Seeing now as historia would be would need to be the one to control so that's interesting oh man this fucking show you my boy Aaron would say because i was born into this world yeah you know when he says that she's about to go down and reject zeke's plan but fuck i did not expect the double twist yeah how is he gonna go from here though man that scene with everyone frozen with Aaron's head blown off was great yeah, apart from, you know, everybody now knowing where Eren stands, he still has been Eren for all the years prior, except like the last year or two, right? He still has been their friend, so them seeing his head alone flying through the air then had to be something. Zeke, I understand how much you care for your brother. Proceeds to scream anyway. Fuck Zeke. Fuck Zeke. All I'm gonna say. He just does not give a fuck even for, for his own people. That is not the way. Dad Mikasa backwards double slash was so lit. Wait, was it in a slow-mo? Oh shit, hold on a second. <laughs> she got fucking knocked off. Holy shit. Oh, there it is. There's the double slash. Yeah, that was a that was nice. That was very nice. Was the scene where Ern dropped the baseball supposed to foreshadow him betraying Zeke or that Zeke is a really good catch even with flying hats? I'm pretty sure he was Ern refusing the agreement. Yeah, the ball was the metaphor and Ern dropped it, so rejected Zeke's plan. Ern hasn't gotten kidnapped all season. <laughs> That's true. It was about time for the annual Eren kidnapping to happen. Porco using his dying breath to tell Reiner he was always built better than he was. It's petty and I love it. Oh... Joe Titan getting passed around more than the Omicron for real. What? Pre Marcel, Marcel, Emir, Porco, Falco. <laughs> Jesus, that's true. You think beast titans can have the same animal, LMAO? I remember the intro had a giraffe, dinosaur, and a whale in season two. Wait, about that. So. Shit, now I remember while watching that way back, the season 2 intro, I kind of thought that was a spoiler for something. Like, oh shit, they are showing that the titans are actually some sort of like animal spirits or some shit. So what was the meaning of that? Then I took that as a symbolism of every living thing fighting to survive, not a showcase of titans. Okay, interesting. Damn, watching Zeke scream made me so sad. Seeing Falco, Nile. Nile too? I don't remember who that was, but you know, oh no. <laughs> and Pixies! All get turned into Titans was heartbreaking for me. Wait, was Nile the one who let Falco go? Oh shit. He said he has a family too, no? Oh, that's that's sad. Here to pay respect to both Colt and Galliard. Cold is gone too? Especially Galliard. The man tried so hard. Oh, and Pixies. And everybody that got turned. Yeah. I'm speechless. Falco got me crying when he transformed. Dude, I was on the verge. Man, Gabby never missed a shot. What the fuck? I was stunned when she hit Eren. And yes, I knew Eren would never accept Zeke's plan. But Zeke used Eren like a toy. What a cliffhanger. Can't wait for more. Fantastic episode and all. I felt like it was over in five minutes. But man, do I miss Levi. Where the fuck is Levi? And Hanji. And Annie. Dude. What sort of deal did Emir make 2000 years ago that has caused her to be stuck in an empty desert sculpting titan bodies for an eternity? So that too, is she sculpting every single titan that happens? As in the time there flows way fucking slower. It's like that interstellar scene with the Gargantula, right? The black hole. So is she just spending her time sculpting titans? Kind of cool uh, explanation to the whole thing maybe Colt holding Falco as he was about to turn into a titan was heartbreaking oh that's why he's gone oh holy shit it ends before he can begin now we gotta wait another painful week 20 something minutes is too damn short well about that the next episode <laughs> the next episode is gonna be over here in a week as well and not the three to four days that it usually is because the next three to four days thing is gonna be the junior high because i gotta offset the fucking you know it's ending too soon so 
yeah junior high next and with that being said how did you enjoy this episode when you've seen it was your mouth open the fucking 90 percent of the time as well leave a comment below have you enjoyed this reaction consider leaving a like or a sub if you want to see more and if you do want to see more you can watch the next one right now junior high not the attack on titan next episode yet but you can watch the next one right now by clicking the very first link down below become a slob today thank you so much if you do actually i don't know yet but i might do both at the same time on patreon junior high and the next attack on titan as well it's either gonna be there or not and with everything being said this has been frank with some more incredible attack on titan i hope nobody betrays you in the paths today and i'll be seeing you in the next one